Before I moved to Chicago, when I was around eight, um, in California, pretty much everyone has to learn how to swim at some point, and I really enjoyed swimming more than like all the other little sports that I might have done, like soccer or basketball. Uh, but swimming was always the most fun for me, so I just kind of stuck with it. When you look at like, you know, most swimmers, most of them are like a lot bigger than me or like taller than me, and most of them are the ones that like sprint, and they can generally move a little faster than I can, like with like 50 yards or something like that, but I kind of figured like at a young age, I, maybe I can't beat them like in terms of speed, but I could just last a lot longer than them in the water, so it kind of drew me to distance events. He's the hardest worker on the team and really enjoys the, the effort that goes into being a top competitor in the country. So I think that, especially for our team, is very exciting, but I think it's something that certainly fuels him. It's very exciting. We haven't, Brandeis has not been to NCAAs in, since 2009. They're deserving. I think it's just swimming, especially Division Three, has gotten so much faster that it's exciting to, to finally make it happen, especially after COVID last year and the meet getting canceled. I want to see where I can stack up against some of the other top people in the country. I think that would be, that'd be fun. He's seated 11th, so right. he'll probably swim with prelims for the mile, which is his best event. Um, and the 500 is so close, the whole field. So yeah. NCAAs is really challenging because people work so hard to get into the meet period that you never really know what's going to happen. So everybody, if they just can keep their composure and their head right, and just swim in their seat time and their best, who knows?